As the calendar turns to July, dozens of new laws take effect today in Minnesota. On the education front, there's more funding for the READ Act, free college for lower income students, and earlier pensions for teachers. Our Corin Hoggart is live at the Capitol for us this evening. Corin, some of the other changes will impact birth records and Amazon deliveries. Tell us about it. Yeah, Randy and Kelsey, a lot of those deliveries will now cost you an extra 50 cents. The idea is to have a fund for road repairs on those roads that a lot of those delivery drivers are using, like University Avenue here behind me. Repairing potholes and other problems on roads is a never-ending mission in Minnesota. The state usually spends about $2 billion a year on roads and bridges. A big chunk of the money comes from gas taxes. So until recently, the more you drove, the more you contributed to repairs. We've been falling be further and further behind as the gas tax loses ground to inflation, as it loses ground to, to fuel efficiency. As of July 1st, people will contribute an extra 50 cents towards road repairs for every retail delivery of more than $100 in items that are not food, medicine, or baby products. More than 100 million of those deliveries are going out on the state's roads every year. It was really emotional stories. Senator Aaron May Quaid authored a couple new laws taking effect on July 1st. One of them gives people who were adopted access to their birth records. For the last 85 years, those records have been considered confidential. Now they're just private, and about 172,000 people can get a hold of their own origin stories. I wanted to see and hold the piece of paper that recorded the name I was given at birth. May Quaid also expanded protections against deep fakes used to influence elections. People convicted of breaking the law will now be blocked from holding office. She says the legislature needs to keep an eye on artificial intelligence. We're kind of just running headlong into this AI world without any sort of way to detect AI or digital manipulation. And back to that retail delivery fee. Republicans criticized that, calling it a junk fee, although most of them actually voted against a bill that would eliminate junk fees at places like restaurants and hotels. And we'll have a more complete list of all the new laws that take effect today on our website at fox9.com. For now, we're live at the Capitol. Corn Hawker, Fox 9. All right, Corn, thank you.